What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to announce the beginning of Media Monopoly's Cyber Week sale. We have 30% off site-wide. As you guys may know, we only do one sale a year, so make sure you guys take advantage of this because everything will be back to normal pricing as soon as this is over. Link down in the description if you are interested. We also have two new packs, which I'm here to talk to you about today. We have the Effects Pack 3, 40 new effects, 15 transitions, the biggest effects pack we put out yet. You can see the effect list here. Everything 30% off, no code needed. All the prices are automatically lowered. I'm going to even extend the sale an extra day because the announcement came a little bit late. I was still making sure everything was put together perfectly. So we're going to add an extra day onto that. This video is going to be short and sweet. We're just going to go in and I'm going to show you how to use these presets, what they look like, how to install, etc, etc. Now we also are releasing 40 new animations and you can use this in any video editing software. If you own our Media Monopoly animation extension, and these animations actually seamlessly integrate into that. As you can see, if I just click on this little tab here, it loads it into my Adobe Premiere project here. And that's another exciting thing. This animation window now has Adobe Premiere support before you could only use it within After Effects. That's going to be a free update. Today, we're here to talk about Preset Pack 3. If you want to learn about the 40 animations, you can click up here now to see the little video card that'll pop up the animation explainer tutorial. Let's get into Preset Pack 3's explainer tutorial. So starting off with the install for this preset pack. If you guys do wish to purchase, go ahead and click add to cart, click check out, fill out everything as normal here. Once you've completed purchase, whatever email you fill in, you're going to get a download link sent to it. And here is what the download link folder will look like. Once you unzip this, you're going to have four things in here. You're going to have your preset pack 3 folder, which which contains your preset file. Also going to have some discount codes. You can pop that open, get a few codes for checkout to get some extra savings on some more packs you're even going to have a free effect window extension redemption so if you see over here on my left you see how we have these little purple titles in the media monopoly extension we'll be able to actually use this preset pack 3 integrated in with your effect pack you have your transitions and effects all neatly lined up and you have a little preview for all of that so you have your install instructions all within this pdf you have screenshots so everything should be very clear but in case you get confused or you run into an issue this video tutorial will show you exactly what to do. So step number one, what you're going to want to do is open Adobe Premiere. You're going to head over to your effects tab. So it depends on what workspace you're in. I like working out of the color workspace. So my effects tab, my effects bin is over here. So what you want to do is find wherever your effects bin is. You're going to see the very first folder here says presets. Right click on that and click import presets. You want to navigate to wherever you save the downloaded folder that you got from the website. Go ahead and open up the folder that you see and open up this dot preset file. Easy as that. Once you clicked open you can open up your preset folder over here in the bottom left, you can scroll down and search for it. Here it is Max Novak effects 3.0. And to make it easier for this pack, I just made it so that all of the effects start with M underscore. So if you type M underscore, you're now going to see all of these different presets popping up on the left here and we have a bunch of them so let's start going through here and showing you what you can do with these presets all right guys so i have some footage lined up and ready let's just start going through the list and showing you what you would be downloading if you do choose to purchase this so number one so starting off here you have crunch distort easy little animation and it's pretty self-explanatory what it does just little crunch and then distorts back into normal also keep in mind the length of the clips is going to is going to determine how these presets look. So if you place the preset on a clip that's longer, it's going to be more strung out and it's going to take a while for it to complete. And vice versa, if you place this on a small little cut area of a clip, for example here, it's going to be extremely fast like that. So you guys can use that however you'd like, get some really cool animations and looks. And this is one of those ones where it's more of a utility preset for something we talked about on the channel for free. So we talked about how to make this from scratch, jitter freeze frame. You guys like that video a lot. Now in this one, we have three presets that can make you take that long process of masking, changing frames, and be able to apply that effect within seconds. So if you're ever stuck on what to do, all you need to do is hover over the preset and you're going to see this little info box pop up. We also have all of this info inside the readme instruction PDF. So what it wants us to do is right click clip, add a frame hold first, and then duplicate the shot twice. So easy enough, find where you'd like to apply this effect, maybe right about here. I'll click control K to make a cut, move over one frame, control K to make a cut. I'll move that footage over, right click on that frame we cut out, and I'm going to add a frame hold and then drag it out. If we press play here, you see this just stops right on this specific frame. 
So all you need to do now is duplicate this twice. So I'm going to hold down alt on my keyboard once, twice, and then it's as easy as just applying the preset effects. So start with part one, it says apply this preset to the original clip bottom of the stack. So bam, this one goes on the second one. This one goes on the third one. And now you just need to mask out the area that you'd like to have the jitter. So we'll click on the very top part, head over to the opacity in your effect controls, grab your pen tool, and just draw a little outline around your subject. And easy as that, we've now created a little jitter freeze. So again, it's something that we talked about on the channel, but it saves you a huge amount of time. It's something you can have in your back pocket to create effects like this literally in seconds. So next we have some little, we have some aesthetic changing presets. We have demonize, gives you that kind of trippy red, darker look with the kind of defined edges. We have distort in, very much what it sounds like, starts distorted pops in. So just a simple little animation. We have edge pop, another little animated trick for you guys to drop on your footage and get some textured look. We have intensify flicker. And if you notice here, it says two duplication. So anytime it says two duplication, you just hold alt, click and drag up easy as that place it on the top clip, we'll place it here, and you're going to get very different results. Next up, we have liquify distort, go ahead and apply that to any of your clips. And you can see what that looks like kind of similar to that sapphire pack distort, but with a more liney style to it. So those were some of the stylization ones here are some of the ghosting ones, we made a bunch of different ghost trails because we've been talking about ghost trails and what you can achieve with them a lot recently on the channel. So you have number one, ghost trail is what that looks like you have dark ghost trail one of my favorites kind of gives you this wavy sort of disorientation you have ethereal glow and this is one of my favorite ones it has a glowing type of echo and it's very dreamy definitely like how this one turned out a lot now we have some luma inverts and we talked about this again in the past red luma invert another stylized look and of course on different footage you're going to get very different results here's what here's what it looks like with these assets so a very nice little invert that you guys can drop on a few clips and of course you can mix and match these as well so you want to apply some of the stylized presets with some of the transition presets or some of the little animation presets so I hope that you guys like that sort of mix of the presets available. I don't want you to just use one at a time. I want you to always be combining these, combine it with other presets and plugins, create some cool, unique stuff. So continuing down, we have lens projection. I want to place this on a duplication. So I'll drag up. It's a very looking through a glass type of look. We have Nirvana ghost, a more darker style. Now this is one of my favorites. This is star glow bottom and top. So following the instructions, let's hover and read that. Hold alt, drag your clip up two times. So make two duplications above the clip you want to apply to. Place this preset on the bottom, star glow top on the top. So simple as that. So once you, it wants you to select a clip, alt drag up once and twice. So you should have three in total. Place star glow bottom in the middle, star glow top on the top. And just like that, you now have the star glow and it's this kind of crisscross pattern. Really love this one. It's a nice little touch that you can apply to any type of video, music video, product video, very nice little subtle touch. Now you also have the alternate version of this, which is star, go, star glow twinkle, the exact same thing, except this one is more animated. So we'll place this on. And you're now gonna see this sort of twinkle in the glowing. It's gonna be moving, it's gonna be animated. And again, same rules apply for this. If you want it to be more animated, more motion in there, make it a smaller clip. And then one of my favorite stylization presets, star power. So you place that on your footage and you start to get this really nice blend of different color twinkling through. This is one of those ones again, that's great for the customization aspect of it. You can add this on any of your other presets and it's going to immediately just give you this think that kind of trippy psychedelic brother style videos on any type of footage. And of course, again, like I said, mix and match this. Try some ghost presets on here with the star glow. Look at the crazy looks we're able to create. Now moving on to the transitions. Always with the transition, you wanna find a place in your footage where one scene is going to the next. So right here, I'm gonna click Control K to make a cut. So here's where our transition is going to be. You can decide how long you want the transition to be. Same rules are applying. If you want it to be more slow and drawn out, you make a larger cut. If you want it to be fast, then you can move over a few frames. Um, let's try it a little bit more drawn out. So I'm gonna click shift and I'm gonna click over to the left twice. So we'll get a much larger area for this. And then shift, holding shift again, right to the middle, shift, right arrow key, control K. 
nest all of that together and let's place bounce on there and then bear, there you go just a quick little flicker towards the screen this one is very subtle and then we have the less subtle stuff we have ghost teleport some very interesting warping things let's actually scale this up ghost teleport you have glitch wave right here it is on a little more drawn out part very nice and smooth how it kind of just pixelates and then stretches back into normal again one i showed you earlier this is hey arnold and kind of just stretches the face another little warping one always love how that one looks this is intensify in and out those ones say two duplications so again you alt drag up place it like this and you're going to get some of these kind of line very subtle like animations so here's what that looks like it kind of just highlights all the edges again something very subtle intensify out this one i'm pretty sure is a little bit more less subtle kind of gives you a lot more motion in there those ones are better for more high energy footage clips you have melt up you can see a very trippy little transition here here's what that looks like on a more drawn out clip it kind of just smooths into normal here's open the window this one's very subtle and i really love this one a lot this one you can actually combine in with the jitter freeze frame if you'd like and if you just look close closely it's just a quick little something like that put on snap transition and there you go it's again kind of seamless but instead of just cutting from one to the next it kind of eases you in just like that next we have star power teleport mixing in that star power effect with the transitions with the melting transitions you can get some really cool stuff just by applying that next we have tarantino crash zoom and this is something that we talked about on the channel before as well so just a quick little blurred zoom in here's m teleport the last of and then M teleport slow, the last of our warping transitions. So a lot of warping stuff, a lot of subtle stuff, good mix depending on whatever you are trying to create. So that is preset pack number three. I hope that you guys did enjoy that. They're starting to get more complex. They're starting to be a little bit more general and I like the direction that we're going with that. I hope you make some cool stuff with this. Again, the name of the game is mixing and matching. I tried to set it up in that way so that you guys can create a whole multitude of different things. If you purchase this, you have free access to the built-in premiere effect so everything that you just saw will be built into the window where you can easily just apply it from there i'm going to continue investing all the money made into this into creating better quality stuff if i'm going to put a price on something i want to make sure that it gives you as much value as possible and i want to also keep those prices low so again take advantage of that sale 30 percent off limited time we only do it once a year as always guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting and i'll see you guys in the next